Hey everybody, it's Jersey Gamer 9000 here, and welcome back to more S Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I almost forgot what game I was playing for a second there. Yeah, yeah. All right. So it's time to fight the boss. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to head there. There's our heavy boots to go across. We'll keep the hover on because we're going to need it. Don't worry, there is a shortcut to get to the boss, so we're just gonna head this way. I believe this is the room. Yeah, okay good. It's over here. I really don't care about that. Is it that that's not it. It's over here. Uh right here. Okay. And this goes down here. Okay, if we can easily just get right here. Okay. Oh, we're going to see this whole thing over again. I didn't think about this. Whatever. We can fight these guys for the boss. There go those bells. You've already seen this, come on. Do you have to show that again? I wonder if we're gonna fight Stalfos. Probably. Would imagine so. Yeah. I don't have my big Goron sword out. You would've been dead already if I already hit you with this. Oh, here comes another guy. Here comes the other one already. No, it should take two hits to kill you guys if I was able to hit you. I almost fell off. Ugh. God, it took so long to kill those guys. Why are they giving me Deku Nuts? I really don't need those, man. Alright, here we go. I'm just gonna get off now. No reason to stay on. Okay, good. That's still down, so that's good. You know, I'm already like halfway done. My uh, Navi, you don't have to show me that the, sh the ship is sinking anymore. Um, we'll go this way. I think. Anyway, I can't make that, can I? No, we should go that way. Oh my God, I lost my way here. Um, let's do it. Yeah, I thought we could make that. And we'll just go over here. And here we go, the boss. So let's do it. Mm, I wonder what that says. Let's check it out. I don't know if it says anything at all. No. What about the door, too? Blackness. So here we go, guys. It's time to fight! Bongo Bongo, Phantom Shadow Beast. Okay, so make sure you get the Lunge of Truth on, I would imagine, right? Yep. Alright. Oh my god, man. Am I trapped? What's going on here? Okay, I'm gonna go this way. You know what? It'd probably be a good idea if I used arrows and uh, hook shot and stuff. Don't do that! Seriously now? Maybe keep... Okay. Yeah, this is gonna work. Then you hookshot him. Get our big Goron and we kick his butt! Get the arrows. Hookshot. He should be dead soon. Where is he? Where is he? 
he's dead. Holy god, I mean, that can't be any easier. I was kind of screwing up in the beginning there. But, oh my god, that was so easy. Wow, that looks, that looks kind of freaky, actually. You must know. Oh my god, I think, I think that's those things that were in Kakariko Village. Now they have melted away. There's our light, and where's our heart container? There it is. That's our 18th heart container of the game! You have a maximum life energy has increased by one heart, yes. And we actually get those hearts refilled, that's in the process. Um, okay, that's it. I'm gonna take off my, uh... Well, you know what? We'll keep them on, why not? Why not? Let's see if, we're, if we go to the Chamber of Secrets with the bunny... with the hover boots on, that'd be kind of... Strange. Here we go. Yep, we still have him on. Ha <laughs> ha, that's awesome. Alright. The weird shot. <laughs> the boy with the noble Zelda's Ocarina, as I expected. You have come. I am Ampa, one of the, sh one of the Sheikah. I am Princess Zader's caretaker, and I am the one, and, and I am also the sage who guards the Shadow Temple. We Sheikah have served the royalty of Hyrule from generation to generation as attendants. However, on that day, seven years ago, Gendendorf suddenly attacked, and Hyrule Castle surrendered after a short time. Gendendorf's target was one of the keys to the Sacred Realm. The hidden treasure of the royal family, the Ocarina of Time! My, my duty bound me to take Zelda out of Ganondorf's reach. When last I saw you, as we made our escape from the castle, you were just a lad. Now I see that you have become a fine hero. There's nothing to worry about. The princess is safe now. Soon, you'll meet Princess Zelda face to face, and she will explain everything. That is when we, the six wise ones, We'll seal up the evil kin and return peace to Hyrule. I I have to stay here. You go to you go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. Now I put my power, which should be helpful to you, and to this medallion. So here we go. We get the Shadow Medallion! And it's purple glory. As Ampa awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Please look out for the princess. Yeah, if we knew where she was, man. Here we go, back at the graveyard. Now I'm gonna take off these stupid uh, foods and put on the regular ones. So we can get some walking done here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go to Hyrule Field, get our heart piece, and we'll head to the next area of the game. I can't believe that boss fight took like three minutes once I actually got there. I mean, it would have been a lot shorter if I actually remembered what to do. But as you know, I did, so I was able to figure that out. And we were able to get that job done real rather quickly, I might add. And good, the opponent is just right here waiting for us. That's what I was expecting. So let's turn and let's head to that heart piece that I said about. It's right here in Hyrule Field. Um, I believe it's this tree right over here. Okay, so they got 
our bombs. We might actually even need to take out our iron boots, but I think I might be able to get it with the golden scale. It's only time will tell, I guess. Okay, so in here, we're just gonna get rid of this guy. If you look down, you see that the heart piece is there. Let's see if I can get it with the golden scale. Got it. Awesome. You got a piece of heart. Collect four pieces and totally get in that heart container. Yes. So there you go. Um, another way you can get that, obviously, is the iron boots. If you have enough hearts, you don't even need to worry about putting it on the blue tunic, so... The iron boots should be able to get you there. And that's that heart piece. So the next... The last three heart pieces of the game are in the next area, which is Gerudo Valley. So let's go there now. So the rest of the gold katulas and the rest of the heart pieces are here. So we're almost done with this game. Well, make sure you bring your opponent with you because you're gonna need to jump that bridge again. Um, I believe you can use the long shot as well to get across. And I know I've shown you- I know I've shown you opponent jump the bridge before, but... Just for... I guess... To show you that you can use the... Long shot to do this. Um, recommendation is don't- You can hit the bridge, but that would be kind of stupid. You want to hit this thing up here. And there you go, that's how you get across. Without using Epona. Of course you can use Epona. And we're actually going to need Epona once we actually do a couple things in this area. Um, and you see that the Gerudo's Fortress is our next location. We've already got the go two Gold Cthulhu's here as an adult. And that actually completed our Gold Cthulhu's in this area. That's what Navi wants here. The desert. That is where Gendendorf, the evil king, was born. If you go there, you might find something. Yes. That's where we are going. Alright. So let's go in. Maybe I'll make a day to hear the cool music. There it is! Ha ha! Okay, shouldn't be doing that. Um... Okay, so let's go inside. So this would be our next area, guys. Gerudo's Fortress. As of right now, we gotta sneak around. But that will be done next time, as... We don't want to go too much into it right now. And make the video go longer. So I'm gonna end the video here. So this is Jersey Gamer 9000 saying so long, everybody. And I'll see you next time.